Hi guys, Mimi G here. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through a sew along from McCall's 8339. This dress is really cute and I'm gonna do view B, so let's get started. Now if you're new to sewing or you just need a refresher course, I do have a sewing basics video which I link in the description box below. Feel free to watch that first, then come sew along with me. Now if you're completely new to sewing or you wanna learn more, I do have an online sewing and design school called Sew It Academy. Dot com. The first five classes are completely free if you sign up for our trial, so make sure and check that out. All right, so we're gonna be working on McCall's 8339, and I'm gonna be doing view B, which is sort of the uh, middle length, uh, it's just below my knee. Um, I don't really have a use for this really long one, although I love it and it's beautiful, but honestly, I don't know when I would wear it. Um, and so between the short version of A and B, I think B um, was the one that I wanted to do most, so that's what we're gonna do. Now remember that on the back of the envelope, you always have a list of suggested fabrics. This is for a knit, so it does recommend a two-way stretch knit, like jersey, interlock, stretch velvet would be really nice. You also have a list of any notions that you're gonna need. So in this case, we're gonna need 3 eighths of an inch wide elastic for the waist. Let's go over the pieces we need to cut. So we're gonna start, this is uh, with pattern piece number one. Now this is the front, it's an oddly shaped pattern. Um, so I wanted to point out one little thing. So at the bottom of this pattern piece, you're gonna see something that is called a join line, and then you're gonna see an extension piece, which is 1A. All you do is match up your little circles to join extension 1A to piece one. That just means that when we went to print, it doesn't fit on the plate that we print on, and so the extension needs to be printed as a separate piece, and then you just join it together to create one full piece for pattern piece number one. For pattern piece number one, you're gonna cut two. Then we've got pattern piece number three. This is the skirt back. You're going to cut two. Then you're gonna cut pattern piece number two. This is our bodice back, and you're gonna cut two. Then we have pattern piece number six and number five. This is our front neck facing and our back neck facing. Both of these you're gonna cut one on the fold for pattern piece number six and you're gonna cut one on the fold for pattern piece number five. You will also be cutting one out of interfacing for both five and six. Pattern piece number four is just an elastic guide, so you do not need to cut this out of any fabric or interfacing. You're just gonna use it to measure out the length of elastic that you're gonna need. Once everything is cut and your facings are interfaced, we can start sewing. All right, we're gonna start with pattern piece number one. This is our front. It's our really big piece, so we're gonna lay them right sides facing, and we're gonna stitch between dots. So it's really important, um, specifically for this dress, um, that you transfer all of your dots and your notches um, just so that you can make sure that your stitching this together exactly how it needs to be. So let me move this over just a tad bit. Now you have a notch and you also have two dots. We're gonna be stitching from one dot to the other dot using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. I'm gonna go ahead and pin. Okay, head over to your machine. You're just gonna do a straight stitch. Remember to start exactly at your dot and stop exactly at your dot, making sure to back stitch at both dots. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a stretch needle, but you have options, right? You can get either a jersey needle or a stretch needle. I would suggest testing each needle on your specific knit because they respond differently depending on your knit and the needle combination. So after trying both of these, the stretch one worked better for the fabric that I'm using. Um, so you do have options, but I always suggest that you test your needle with your fabric first. Now for my vertical seams, I'm gonna be using a regular straight stitch. For the horizontal seam that we're gonna be doing when we attach our back, our lower back to our uh, bodice, I will be using a very narrow zigzag stitch, but I know many of you ask me when I'm sewing knits, so vertical seams, I'm using just a straight stitch. Okay, so the wrong side is facing me, um, and on my right, I'm gonna fold right sides facing, matching up first this notch, And we're gonna stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, stopping at the dot, right? So make sure that you transferred this dot because this is where we're going to stop and back stitch. You're gonna back stitch at the beginning and you're gonna back stitch at your dot. Okay, so we have this little hole that we left, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the left side, well, my left, and we're gonna go ahead and put it through the hole. Okay. 
I'm gonna turn this to the right side now so I can see what it's looking like. Okay, so when you pull it through, it might look a little crazy, but it's, it's gonna make sense. So what you're gonna do is, once you pull it through, you're gonna see that you have this notch, and just like we did the other side, you're gonna go ahead and pin that notch together, and we'll be able to straighten this out in a minute. And just like we did before, you're gonna stop at the dot, okay? So just push everything to the side until you can see that dot. Mine is right there, and I'm gonna pin. Now again, you're just gonna do the same thing we just did. So you're gonna go to your sewing machine using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, backstitch at the beginning, stop and backstitch at the dot. All right, so now we have both of these seams done, and now we just need to do the center front seam. So I'm gonna fold this right sides facing, and you just wanna make sure that you're obviously matching up your notches. So you have one notch along that center front. And then if you're doing the split like I am for view B, then you're gonna to wanna to make sure and pin where that dot is because that's where you're gonna stop sewing so that you have a nice little slit in the front. And then here up towards your knot, you have another dot, so we're gonna Carefully match up our raw edges. And then you're going to, again, just make sure it's right sides facing. And just push the knot out of the way um, if you need to. We can always make it look pretty after we're done sewing it. Match up your dots and pin there because you're gonna stop. And you're gonna stitch from dot to dot, okay? If you're doing the split, you're gonna start at the bottom where your uh, split starts, backstitch at the dot, stitch up and backstitch and stop at the dot. All right, once you're done with your center front seam, you can go ahead and adjust your knot, make sure everything is looking right. Um, you still have your little split in the middle, which we'll finish in a minute. I want you to grab your bodice back and your back skirt pieces. So for the skirt, let's just go ahead and start there. We're gonna go ahead and place these right sides facing. And you know that it's your center back because your center back has three notches. Okay, so that's, you're gonna wanna align your three notches and go ahead and pin. Now set this aside, go ahead and grab your bodice back. You're gonna pin that center back together as well. So with right sides facing, you also have three notches for the center back. So go ahead and pin there first. Okay, so you guys already know how to sew in a straight line, so you're gonna go ahead and stitch together your center back seam for your bodice and the center back seam for your skirt, you're gonna be using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Make sure to remember to backstitch at the beginning and at the end. Go ahead and do that for both your bodice back and your back skirt. All right, now that our center back seams are sewn, we can go ahead and attach our skirt to our bodice. So with right sides facing, I'm going to match up the notches that are on the waist. Okay, now you're gonna head to your sewing machine. We're gonna sew um, for using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance from one end to the other. Because this is a horizontal seam that is gonna stretch along my body at the waist, I am gonna be using a narrow zigzag stitch. Okay, so I have already created my seam 5, in, five eighths of an inch away from the raw edge. Now to create the casing for the elastic, we're gonna go ahead and stitch again a quarter of an inch away from the raw edge. Okay, so using your guide, you're gonna cut a piece of elastic to whatever size you cut um, your pattern. So I've already cut mine. I've got my little safety pin here, and we're gonna go ahead and insert this through the casing that we just created. You're just gonna insert and pull your safety pin through until you have your elastic coming out of the other end. Okay, you wanna pull it through, but don't let this end go into the casing, so just be careful as you're doing it. Now I'm gonna pin it just so that I don't lose it. So you're just gonna tack this down a little bit through um, all layers to make sure that that's secure, and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now that we have our casing done, now we can go ahead and pin front to back. 
I want you to make sure that your casing is up, okay? So you wanna pin it up towards the bodice when you're pinning it to uh, the front. So I'm gonna lay this out, grab your front. Let's go ahead and pin our shoulders first. Go ahead and pin your, your other shoulder the same way. Okay, and just using a normal length stitch, using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, you're just gonna stitch your shoulders together. Go ahead and do both of your shoulders. All right, let's go ahead and pin our side seams. So we're gonna go ahead and pin, match up your notches. When you get to your waist seams, you wanna make sure that those are aligned. You wanna make sure that your casing is up towards your bodice and that your front seam is open. Okay, once you have your entire side seam and your arm pinned, you're gonna go ahead and sew using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Start at your hem, work your way up to the end of your sleeve. You're gonna pin and sew your other side seam the same way. Okay, so I went ahead and stitched together my front facing and my back facing at the shoulders. So go ahead and do that. And remember to interface your pieces if you um, had not done that yet. Now we're gonna go ahead and pin this to our dress. So with right sides facing. I'm gonna pin first at my shoulders. And then you have a notch on your facing and on your neckline. So you wanna pin there. Okay, so we're gonna start stitching at the center back and work our way till we get to our dot. So on the inside, we have a seam. So you wanna make sure that your seam is flat and open and the dot that is here where we stop sewing should match the dot that is on your facing. So we're gonna stitch to that dot, back stitch, and then start again here at this dot and stitch in the other direction. After that, we'll go ahead and clip our facing to that dot. Okay, now that our facing is stitched on, I'm just gonna go ahead and clip to my dot. Okay, now you can go ahead and trim some of this off and then turn your dress right side out and give it a good press. All right guys, so I went ahead and pressed and understitched my facing. So make sure that you do, do the understitching on your facing because that really does help you keep your facing flat and to the inside. And if you wanna do uh, a little further tacking, you could do that at the shoulders and here at the center front, up to you. Now let's go ahead and finish our slit. So you're gonna, let me turn this to the wrong side so you guys can see. So my fabric, because it's a really slinky knit, doesn't um, press very well. <laughs> so otherwise I would tell you to go ahead and I would press my fa 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance before stitching it, but pressing isn't gonna keep my fabric um, in place. So if yours does fantastic, you're gonna go ahead and press 5 eighths of an inch on both sides. I'm gonna just pin it because like I said, my fabric won't stay, it's very slinky. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the bottom of one of my slits, and I'm gonna top stitch until I get to the dot, about half inch above my dot. I'm gonna pivot and then stitch down the other direction. Okay, so once your slit is closed and you finish that edge off, you can go ahead and try on your dress, but you might wanna shorten it, not sure. If everything is cool, then you're gonna go ahead, finish off the raw edge, and then turn under your hem and finish the hem of your dress and also on your sleeve. Once you're done with those two things, you are all done. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this sew along. Make sure and follow me at Mimi G Style on Instagram and tag me in your pictures. And also follow at McCall Pattern Company on Instagram. This video will also be available on McCall's YouTube page. Until next time, peace.